Okay, now we know a little bit about imaginary numbers, let's talk about complex numbers. Now complex numbers are going to be in the form um, A plus BI, where, where, the, where A and B are real numbers, okay? Um, a lot of times they call it they they call it equal to z. Not really a big deal. I'm probably not going to use it, but I just I I want to be somewhat formal. You know, I don't like to be really formal, but we'll be somewhat formal here. Okay, so so basically, you know, this this would be a complex number. So a real life example would be like two plus four uh, i. Okay, that's a complex number, okay? And a complex number is a lot like um, the coordinate system. Just like, it, it, it's, it's, it's a lot, well, let's just go back to our, our other vid, our graph here. Remember how that we found out that the zero of this thing, it didn't have a real zero, it had an imaginary zero, and it was, it was uh, plus or minus i? Well, that solution it doesn't exist, let's just call this, you know, the y-axis and x-axis. It doesn't exist on that plane. This is the real number plane, okay? Um, but it does exist on what's called the complex plane, okay? Where the, the uh, x-axis is going to be all the real numbers. I don't know if you can completely read those, but that's just all the regular numbers we use. And then the, the uh, uh, vertical axis is the complex or the imaginary axis, okay? And this is 1i, 2i, 3i. So if we go and we want to graph this number, okay, this, this, this complex number right here, 2 plus 4i, it, it's almost like 2 comma 4 in the regular uh, coordinate plane, okay? So, so I, what I would do for 2 plus 4i is I would go over to 2 and then I'd go up to 4i, okay? And this would be 2 plus 4i. Okay, and if it was, let's say that was 2 minus 4i, I would do the same thing. I go 2, and I would go down the negative 4i right there. So this complex number would be 2 minus 4i. Okay, so let's try another one. How about, what if we, let's go, how about this, this point right here? That would be 3 plus 2i. Okay, so um, that's pretty much where we're gonna go next time. So um, let's just uh, let's go back to this one. Um, X is equal to plus or minus i. Okay, this is, this is from our last one. The actual proper way to write this is really there's. Um, to, I mean, we need we need a real an a plus b i form. So what we're just gonna call this is zero plus or minus i. So we're we're gonna call this. 0 plus or minus i. That's from the last last problem. Okay? So there we go. So we got so we got 0 plus i. So this is just going to be well we're we're not going to move on the real axis at all, but we are going to move up one right there. Okay? So you know, kind of looking at this on the complex uh number system. Um, this point right here would be our solution. Okay, and likewise, you know, we'd also have um, the solution down there as well. Okay, so that, that's kind of how that, that works. Um, so let's see if maybe we can, and yeah, let me get another color, and yeah, let me get another color, and let's, uh, let's just do some addition. Okay, so let's say I took Let's say I took, let's take 2 plus 4i, and let's add it to 3 plus 2i. Okay, um, what I like to do is, I just like to basically treat i just like a variable, and then I simplify it when I'm done. Okay, so this right here, this is going to be equal to um, 2 plus 4i plus 3, I distribute the positive sign, and it really doesn't change anything when I do that. Okay, so then I end up here. Now, so treating this like a variable, I'll just group my terms. So I'll go 2 plus 3 plus 4i plus 2i. Okay, and that one right there, that would be equal to 5 plus 6i. 
So that would be my complex number. So if I came over here, I wanted to graph it, I would go five, and I don't want really, looks doesn't look like I have enough room, but it's probably gonna be up here. Here's one, two, three, four, five. You can believe me that it's up there. Or five plus six i. So it'd be up there, okay? Um, so basically that's how the complex plane works. And, and don't worry, we're gonna do a bunch of videos on this. So uh, in, in the next videos, um, we'll do the same thing. But let me just introduce you to a subtraction problem real quick. Let, let's just take the same thing. Okay, now remember, I like to just treat it like a variable. So I'm just gonna go two plus 4i, that I'm going to distribute the negative sign. So I get, I get 2 minus 3 plus 4i minus 2i. Okay, so that is equal to negative 1 plus 2i. So where is our solution right there? We got negative 1 plus 2i. So it's right there, that is negative one plus two i, okay? Okay, so let's, uh, let's build on this in the next video, okay?